Yeah, and that's right. And one of the more surprising things that came out of today's hearing was that the accused NorCal rapist Roy Waller himself was called up to the stand as the final witness by the defense. Now, this is a surprising move because we typically don't always get to hear from suspects in high profile cases like these. Now, Waller was only on the stand for about 20 minutes or so before court wrapped up for the day. They talked about his multiple marriages, having two daughters, working for UC Berkeley for more than 20 five years and even talked through his online dating choices and preference for Asian women. Yesterday, detectives discussed a bag of women's panties, massage oil and other things found in his personal storage unit. And today they let him explain where they came from. Waller says they belong to a longtime ex-girlfriend who would bring that bag with them on trips. And he says when they broke up years ago, it landed in the storage unit. Other highlights from court today, we heard from someone in the Sacramento County Crime Lab who was able to match Waller's DNA from a used straw on a fast food cup to patches of fabric like comforters, pillowcases, and underwear, as well as vaginal swabs from a number of rape kits from women involved in this case. We also heard from detectives who confirmed Waller attempted to take his own life three times when he was left alone in the interrogation room at some point after being taken into custody by Sacramento police two years ago. Now we are expecting to hear more from Waller on the stand on a Thursday morning before closing statements are expected to begin. After that, the 12 jurors that have been inside of this courtroom every single day for the last three and a half weeks will go into jury deliberation deliberations where they must make a unanimous decision. If convicted, Waller could be facing life in prison. We will continue to track this for you and let you know what happens. Lena, quick question for you. I know we were not expecting to hear from him. How would you describe his demeanor in court today? It was very strange. He was smiling on the stand. He was talking about he was talking candidly about his family, about his dating options. He he wanted to talk. It was very clear that he had something to say and he wanted the whole courtroom to hear it. Mm -hmm. Arlena Howland has been following this story from the beginning. She'll have updates throughout the week as this case continues. Lena Howland, we thank you.